Well, one day after the Maryland State Senate passed the same-sex marriage bill some are celebrating, others already taking steps to let the voters make the final decision come November. News 4's Darcy Spencer has more from our newsroom. Darcy. Wendy, today a Republican delegate from Western Maryland took initial steps to begin that referendum process. Opponents are hoping if asked, Maryland voters will say no to gay marriage. But those who support the legislation say they hope the referendum effort will fail. The first thing I did last night after we won was give my spouse Deborah a call and ask her if she would be my lawfully wedded wife. What'd she say? Uh, she said, of course, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Maryland delegate Heather Mazier says she already married her spouse in California, but the passage of same-sex marriage bills in Maryland's House and Senate means their marriage will be recognized without question here in the free state. I think we'll do a big celebration here once it's, once it's recognized um, as a, and a potentially a renewal of our vows again with, with everyone in the state cheering and celebrating and knowing that without question our relationship is recognized. Recognized. Last night, there were celebrations as the bill passed in the Senate 25 to 22, guaranteeing it will become the law of the land here in Maryland. Governor Martin O'Malley fought for the legislation. We concluded that it was not right and not just. The children of gay parents should have homes that are protected in a lesser way under the law than other children. But the celebrations didn't last very long. Already opponents are mounting a petition drive to put this question on the ballot for a referendum. A Washington County Republican delegate this morning filed draft legislation with the Board of Elections to mount a petition drive to bring the question to voters. Well, we now move to the next phase. I believe that this bill is going to be petitioned the referendum. Uh, Maryland will join a, a number of other states, none of which have approved a, this bill a, in a public referendum. The Family Research Council is supporting the referendum. Peter Spriggs says other similar ballot challenges have been successful. I look to the experience of other states and in 31 out of 31 states where the question of the definition of marriage has appeared on the ballot, voters have voted to uphold the traditional definition of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. Governor Martin O'Malley indicated today that he'll sign the same-sex marriage bill into law on Thursday, but it won't take effect until January of next year, and that's going to give time for this referendum process to play out. Reporting live from the newsroom, Darcy Spencer, News 4. All right, thank you, Darcy.